Here's how the game works. Basically, it's just like a backgammon chouette, except instead of playing a whole game, a round consists of a single position with scoring based on rollouts. Let's look at an example. The table at the bottom shows the order and the value of all the cubes. So here, Venus is in the box, Mars is the captain, Neptune and Pluto are the captain's crew. The round starts with the box having cubes at a value of one against each member of the team. The captain will choose a play for the team, and at the end of the round, these cubes will be scored based on how much better or worse the box's play is compared to the team's. In this example, the problem position is a 4-4 checker play. Everyone submits their play secretly. The crew members, so Neptune and Pluto in this case, also have the option of declaring next when submitting their play. Declaring next means offering an extra cube on the play, in other words a side bet, if the captain chooses a different move for the team. The team's plays are revealed first, and then the captain gets to discuss the move with the crew and pick a play for the team. However, a crew member who has declared next remains silent and is not allowed to discuss the position. And after the captain has chosen a play for the team, there's a chance to beaver the extras. So let's say Mars chose play A, Neptune chose play B with the next, and Pluto chose play C. Mars and Pluto get to discuss the position, and since Neptune declared next, they remain silent. Let's say after discussion, the captain Mars decides to choose a new play D for the team. And now, since Neptune declared next, Mars and Pluto each must either accept or beaver Neptune's extra. If they accept, the extra will have a value of 2. Beavering would raise the cube value to 4. In either case, the difference between the team's choice of play D versus Neptune's play B will be multiplied by the value of the extra cube. Let's say Mars only accepts the extra at 2 and Pluto beavers to 4. Venus's play as the box is now revealed, and with the benefit of having heard the team discussion, Venus has the option to auto the value of the box cubes to 2. Each member of the team would then get the option of beavering. A player who declared next has forced action and must beaver. So let's say Venus chose play A and autos. Mars and Pluto only accept the auto and Neptune is forced to beaver. The values of all the moves is now given relative to the team's play and all the cubes are scored. The total points won and lost for each player is shown in the table. For the next round, the crew moves up in the order and the captain becomes the box if the team's play was better than the box's play. So here, the box picked play A and the team picked play D. The box's play was better than the team's play by 10 points. So that means the box cubes are scored as 20, 40, and 20 in the box's favor, and Venus wins 80 points. For the extra, remember all scoring is against the team's play. And play B was 120 points worse than the team's play, so the extra cubes are worth 240 and 480. And Neptune loses 720 points on the extra. Totaling it all up, Venus wins 80, Mars wins 220, Pluto wins 460, and Neptune loses 760. Since the box's play was better than the team's, Venus will remain in the box for the next round, Neptune will become the captain, and Pluto and Mars will be the crew. Okay, so in that example, everyone picked different plays. What happens when players pick the same play? There are three cases to go through. Number one, if everyone on the team picks the same play, there is no discussion since they all agree. Number two, if the box and the team pick the same play, the box cubes are a wash and the order won't change for the next round. But in this special case, the box is allowed to get involved with any extras. Number three, if the box and the team pick the same play and there are no extras, it's a no action round and it gets replayed with a new position. And that's it. The game lasts for eight rounds. Whoever is leading at the end is the winner.